Hello YouTube, it's only Monday morning, but the S&P is already staging a major test. Note the area at 408.16, that is the January high. If we now look at a 15 minute chart, we're gonna note that we have now bounced almost perfectly off 408.1, 408 to the cent. And we are currently battling, battling for 411. Why is 411 important? Well, 411 is important uh, because that is the Friday low. We have not quite filled the gap, even though we're quite close here. So if we zoom back out for a moment and understand that if we maintain this bounce and this is our low of the week, that means that we are currently above the previous monthly high and we're still in expansionary territory. However, if we fail here at about 408, that is a failed breakout on the monthly chart and that could lead to a test quite low, below 400 and even maybe down from there. So with Jerome Powell speaking tomorrow at noon, and uh, extreme greed still evident in the market, even though we're down by about one points versus Friday. And we also see a huge short covering rally, biggest one since 2015. Oh my goodness. In addition to something that I missed, which is actually Joe Biden's going to be giving the State of Union address on uh, uh, tomorrow night. So that's going to be happening at 9 p.m. So stay tuned till the end of the video if you want to see everything we uh, talked about in terms of those bearish signals. Going into tomorrow to U.S. plans to add 200% tariffs on Russia aluminum as early as this week. In addition to what is already happening with the balloon, which got popped and the plan got delayed, the trip. In addition, in addition to that, we also have Republicans are set to launch Biden probe hours after State of Union. So there are some pain. Uh, there are some pain trades happening right now. But what I want to pay attention to is going to be the follow up that we had going into our uh, weekend video. Link in the, in the description and also the top comment if you want to go back and watch those. So if we now look here to a two board, what's really important is just that we currently have an inside bar here on the weekly and we've bounced off last week's high. That's really important because, again, if this is the low of the week, not that I'm saying it will be, but if it is, and we stage a reversal and reclaim 411 and 412, there's some juice to this rally. Jerome Powell will have spoken and uh, Joe Biden's going to speak as well. Those are the two most important people in America. So then we're going to be looking for a test at 417.8 or another weekly higher high as we alluded to on the weekend. If we now look to uh, QQQ, we note that it's actually coming off a little bit more and it's bouncing off of uh, 30350, which is an important area for, area for me going back to the August high. And please remember that um, on QQQ, we also have our 12 month pattern where if we're able to stage a weekly higher high, we're going to be looking for the pattern to get invalidated here, which is our annual chart or the 12-month chart. Reminder that you can go to the link in the description or the top comment if you want to read up a little bit more about that. All right, now let's talk about these bear indicators because I think it's very important for us to be mindful of them. Why? Well, because I'm paying very close attention here. So if we look to the dollar or DXY, we look here on the one-day chart. Well, we're testing the 50-day moving average here. Uh, we stopped going down. We got a breakout right off our falling wedge, which is a classic bullish move. If we reclaim this 50 DMA at about 103.64, it likely also means we're going to be reclaiming what? Our weekly uptrend. Our weekly uptrend is really important here. Why? It means the dollar is going to be reversing and going back up higher. If we note and see where this area comes from at 103.65, it goes all the way back to our 2017 high. So what was resistance was resistance again in 2020. And we'll find out whether or not it's now resistance or support here. That is really important to pay attention to. In addition to that, we also have the VIX up by more than 6% today, battling to reclaim 20. We have the two-year note up again, another 3.5%. We have the two-year note up another 3%. And then when we go down to emerging markets, this is where um, we're now seeing a pretty hard rejection here off of the uh, 42 area I pointed out on the weekend or the gap fill. And we're attempting a bounce off the 50 weekly here. So if this one takes a fresh cut lower, um, that's not constructive. We look here to China or FXI, similar story where we got a hard reject off our 2020 low, and we're trying to bounce off our 50 weekly here. There's a pretty big weekly gap here though. And then finally, if we look here to the DAX, um, we look here to a one month chart. Um, what we're going to note here is just that it's also trying to battle for last month's high. The DAX here is currently at 15,269. We're currently at 15,334. So because we're so close to this area here, I really want to see whether or not we fail a breakout on the monthly or if we're able to actually reverse and go back up higher from here. Otherwise, please click, click the link in the description or the top comment to see my deeper thoughts from the weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in.